Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 16, Homework. Number 1. Use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. A. Draw a line PQ. So we're just going to connect points PQ to create a line. And then it says plot point R at 3, 8. 3, 8 would be right here, and that is point R, so we'll label it. Draw line PR. So now let's connect P and R so that we have a line. Explain how you know that angle RPQ is a right angle without measuring it. So angle RPQ is this angle right here, because we start with R, P is in the middle, whichever point is in the middle is the angle that we're actually measuring. So it's that angle right there. So explain how we know it's a right angle without measuring it. Well, what we can do is look at, use triangles to help us. So I'm going to create a triangle right there with line P and Q and so the length the height is 1 and the length is 4 and then I'm gonna recreate that triangle up here so this time the height is 4 and the length is 1 so these are the same triangles the same size triangles right triangles we know they're right triangles because we can see it on the grid paper with the lines right there and so what we've done is we've just taken that triangle and put it in two different places. So that tells us that this angle right here is in fact 90 degrees because it's like just putting this triangle in place right there. So what we could say is angle RPQ is a right angle because I can draw the triangle that has line, let's call it PQ, as its long side. So that's saying that's what we drew right here, this triangle right there. That's what we just talked about. So we drew that triangle. The length is 4. Length was 4 units and height was 2. Not 2, it was 1. When we slide the triangle to the left, and we rotate it, I know that the angle is 90 degrees. Okay, compare the coordinates of points P and Q. What is the difference in the X coordinates, the Y coordinates? So point P, where is P again? So there's P right there. It's at 2, 4. And Q is at 6, 3. So the difference here, I would say, is that the x-coordinate difference the difference is, let's see, 4. And the y-coordinate 
the difference is one. So compare the coordinates of points P and R. What are the difference of the X coordinates and the Y coordinates? So we're gonna do the same thing. So P was two, four. R was three, eight. So the X coordinate, the difference here is one. And the Y coordinate, the difference there is four. What's the relationship of the differences you found in parts E and F to the triangles of which the two segments were apart? Well, I hope you noticed what we just saw is the one and the four, like this triangle right here. So one and four, one and four, and one and four here. So let's say the difference in x coordinates of p and q was the same as y coordinates in P and R, right? So the X coordinate here is the same as the Y coordinate here. And then we can say that the difference in Y coordinate of the Y coordinates of P and Q So this one was one, and that's the same as the X coordinates in P and R. Not Q. There's a lot of letters to keep track of. Lots of letters and numbers. So of P and R. So we can say they flipped. The numbers flipped. What is the relationship of the differences you found in parts E and F to which the triangles of which these two segments are apart? So that's kind of what we just talked about where we can say the one and four represent the lengths and widths of the triangles. Number two, use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Draw CB. Now, if you look cl closely, C and B, the points are just kind of the original ones. The black points are just kind of floating there. And I've tried this many different ways. Many, uh, I tried them where they were. I moved them over to the right a little bit. And the only way that I've gotten this problem to work is by moving the points over to um, where you see that I plotted them. So if you would move point C over to one and a half four and move B to three five, uh, that's the only way that um, this problem ends up working out. So going forward with those new points, I'm gonna draw CB. and then plot point D at one half, five and a half. And draw CD. Okay, explain how you know angle DCB is a right angle without measuring it. 
what we're gonna do like we did before is see if we can create right triangles that have the same length and height or length and width so I'll start with this one so here remember we're counting by halves so we have one and one half and this is one and if we recreate it over here this is one and this is one and a half so those are equal so we can say something like what we did per, for part one um, we created right triangles and rotated them to prove angle DCB is right. Compare the coordinates of points C and B. So C, the coordinates are, let's see, there's one and one half, four. And B, those coordinates were three, five. So the difference in the X coordinates one and a half and three, the difference is one and one half. And the y coordinates, the difference is one, which is exactly what we saw over here on our right triangles. Compare the coordinates of points C and D. So C was one and one half, four, and D was one half, five and a half. So the X coordinates, the difference in C was one and the Y coordinates, the difference between C and D was one and one half. What is the relationship of the differences you found in parts E and F to the triangles of which the segments are a part? So the relationship is that the, um, X coordinates for C and B have the same difference as the Y coordinates. C and D. And then we can say the Y coordinates of C and B have the same difference as the X coordinates of C and D. Number three, line ST contains the following points. S is two, three, and T is nine, six. Give the coordinates of a pair of points, U and V, such that ST is perpendicular to line UV. So let's first compare the coordinates of S and T, kind of like what we were doing above. So I see that the X coordinates are seven apart and the Y coordinates are three apart. So in order to find pairs that are perpendicular, we just need to flip those. So the X coordinates need to be three apart and the y coordinates need to be seven apart. So I'm going to start with coordinate pair. I'm just going to pick 
1, 9. So if I have an x-coordinate that's 1, then my y-coordinate, the difference needs to be 3, which would make this y-coordinate 4, or this x-coordinate 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And my y-coordinate, the difference needs to be 7, so that's going to make this y-coordinate 2. So that point would work. You could pick two other pairs. Maybe your first coordinate pair was 2, 8, so you, your v coordinates would be different. But apply what we just learned up here to your own coordinate points.